me to be playing. Um, this is Gamblefish. I'm doing a small funds battle on what's this map? Four Skelly? I think it's Four Skelly. Anyways, I'm bringing my what I've been playing around with lately on small funds, which is a half dead unit of Nagina Samurai, those same guys that are there for every freaking battle. Unit of Bow, no, Matchlock Warrior Monks, my General, my Melee General, and my Great Guard. My super awesome Great Guard. I love you guys. You're awesome. Anyways. Uh, I start this battle, and it sucks a little bit because this is the match I decided not to take my Bow Warrior Monks. One key, this is not that important, but on a battle where you want to get every edge, if you're one of those type of people, it's really nice to have one of your units selected right before you start the battle so that you can give them orders immediately and then scan out your enemy because you're not going to have the time to do a little leisurely analysis like I just did there. Anyway, so the minute I start, I just give them a double uh, single click so I stay hidden over to the woods over there. Send my guys over to the shrine. Then I go over and be like, hey, what do you got over here? Do a quick count. Um, you got, what, the three-bow samurai? That's about 2,200, 2,250. You add 700 to that, um, 2,950, 3,000, let's say. 1,200 from that. You got 4,200, two light cavalry and the general, and that's his whole army. You know, there's nobody hiding in the woods. Um, which is really important because even on low level, sometimes they've got those matchlock Ashigaru. And let me tell you, it sucks. If I'm like, hey, yeah, let's be awesome and take my general and like, run him next to the woods and stuff. And then a dude pops out with a gun and goes, surprise, bitch, and he shoots you, and then your general is like, that sucks. Especially when he's a melee general. I mean, it's just not very fun. Okay. Uh, my great guard is still taking a little walk through the woods. Um, it really sucks that he's got so many um, bow guys, but fortunately for me, he decided to... I, I don't really know what he decided to do, actually. I guess form up on the hill looking upward. Um, maybe go after my general. He eventually started to send his Yari Ashigaru over there, but unless he's fooling around with me, and I've seen some people who are devious enough to do a trick like this, it looks like he's got pretty slow reaction speeds, so I decided to send my um, Great General, I mean, uh, you know, Great Guard, out, because um, I figure either he's got his attention focused on me, or he's not going to be able to react fast enough to do anything about me. Um, so, a la the Great Guard comes out, and I'm just double-click on the Samurai and let him go. And my general comes over here, and like, sure enough, his Yari Ashigaru go over there like, ah, I'm not going to let you flank me and go towards my cavalry. I'm just like, hello, don't mind me. I'm in your rear lines, killing your samurai. Um, I had my general come through the woods so they couldn't shoot me too easily. They still got a couple shots off, but with 11 armor, you're not going to lose very many, even if you're not in loose formation. And right before my general hits, the great guard slam into these guys. Now he sends his light cavalry as I expected, which is kind of a problem, because if your great guard's not moving, and my great guard's got 55 charge, and moving is the best part of him, if he's not moving, even light cavalry can do some serious damage to them. Luckily, um, he got tied up a little bit, so he didn't get very effective charge, and I managed to counter it a little bit. Still, uh, he didn't send his general in from behind, which would have really sucked. Up top, my general has proceeded to, well, pretty much kill off this bow samurai unit. Um, he decides finally to go and capture the shrine, and as he does so, I moved my matchlock monks, I didn't show you that, up to here, and I'm like, hello, you guys have all melee infantry, I have a matchlock monks, your other guys are distracted, so let's send them in and get a couple rounds off. Down here, my great guard managed, since the, the charge got blunted a little bit, thank god, they um, are holding out in a melee fight, and his Yari Ashigaru up here are just separated from the group, outside the range of his general, and looks like they just need a little bit of a push to be routing so I'm like hey I ignore spears let's go ahead and charge into you and of course I screwed it up and I didn't get much of a charge off but it doesn't matter because your general is like a tank anyway down here the lone swords are broken just from a couple rallies from the monks as I was kind of hoping and my generals go after their general which makes him go away and makes their Yari Ashigaru even more scared wait did their guy route what happened to their other guy oh he's down here yes yeah, so I charge him from behind no not from behind but they're starting to get <laughs> they're starting to get winded um, his guys are completely broken up all over the field, which is exactly what you want to see. If you are the rank 1 facing a rank 10, for any rank 1 people that might be watching, um, the number one thing you don't want to do, especially if you see some high level cavalry, is split your dudes up. Unless you're running 4 Yari uh, cavalry, there's always the chance that you're just going to get surrounded and flattened. And then if you obviously you don't want to send your general out, because then you're going to get stomped, but uh, to continue this thought. Um, if you spread all your guys out, all you're going to do is get flanked, shot at, surrounded, you're going to be running all over the battlefield, you guys are going to get exhausted like that, and the minute something bad happens, a la the general dying, you're dead. You don't have a chance of resistance. If you stick together, keep the spearmen in front when you see that I don't have any archers, keep the archers in the back, and 
things, you stand a pretty good chance, because as long as you're in a tight package like that, I mean, what am I going to do? Charge into the midst? Your Yarayashi Yara and stuff are down there. I still could do that, but it's a lot easier for you to charge forward, surround me, and it's not as easy as it seems to charge in and then pull out again. If you charge in and get really wrapped up in a unit, like a Great Guard charging a Yara Yashigaru, you can break them, but if you don't break them, you have to retreat. Turning around can get a lot of your guys killed, even if they're high level. So keep that in mind. What you want to do is stick together. Um, the, the, their bowmen easily could have killed my monks off. Um, my general could would not have been stupid. I'm not going to be, even with a melee general, I'm not going to charge into a big old mass of guys like that. And if he had used his light cover to keep me trapped inside of there, uh, this could have ended really poorly. So, anyways, that's just for you guys out there who uh, end up facing a rank 10. You're like, ah, fuck, what do I do? Well, just remember that you have 5,000 and they only have 3,200, which really, really sucks. So, good luck to you if you get in the matchup.